Today you're going to learn how to do a one layered button flower. In today's tutorial you're going to learn how to make a button flower just like so. The button is part of the flower. It's not a sew on. It's actually just right, rigged right with it. It's actually pretty easy. What you're going to need today is a one inch button just like so with four holes. You're going to need some kind of device. I have a small crochet hook that can actually get through the buttons. Okay, an actual thing to pull yarn through and then once you get that started then we're going to be using a three and a half millimeter crochet hook today in order to finish off the flower. Today's pattern I'm going to be using uh, Peyton's Grace. It's a nice uh, thin yarn just like so. It's almost like a corded kind of yarn. It's really really strong and it makes for a really neat effect once you get it going. So let's without further ado let's get started. So let's get started. I got my one inch button, I got my small tool in hand and I got my Peyton's yarn ready to go. I'm gonna take my hook and just go through one of the holes like so and I want to just loop this on. Do not make any knots or any ties on this. Just pull through. Make a nice generous loop though so it doesn't uh, wanna come out. So you're gonna pull through the loop like so and pull up like this. And now I want you to grab your larger hook three and a half millimeter and I want you to grab that one and I want you to take both strands and go through that loop like so. And then using both strands I want you to chain two. One and two. To make it easier for you I want you now to trim this straggler yarn. This uh, tail end I want you to trim it much shorter. It gets in your way and you don't want it to get in your way. So just trim it shorter. Then you're not questioning anything. So now what I want you to do is that I want you to pull up on this and make a nice generous loop and again just trim that one yarn a little shorter. Okay and now we're ready for again. So we're gonna take the small hook and we're going to go back into the next one that's available to you, the next hole and without any pressure applied to this loop here just grab a new part of the yarn and just kind of make sure that there's no pressure on that other loop to pull it out and pull it through. So now that it's through I want you to insert your hook back into that starting loop and I want you to pull this loop and this will pull your hook down and put that loop over top of your crochet hook and pull this from the behind. And I want you to just, this is a single crochet so I want you to finish it off and then chain two, one and two. So let's begin the next one. Pull a big loop you can really do these quite fast. So just insert, grab a new part of that same yarn but just without any pressure to that first loop, pull through. Make, so I've separated the plies by accident so just pull it out and retry. Sometimes if you add pressure um, not to that loop that's hanging there but just adding pressure to the yarn that I'm trying to pull through it makes a lot of sense. So I'm gonna put my hook back in making sure I'm in the same direction so I'm coming up around and I'm gonna pull that loop that's coming out tight and insert it around the hook and pull tight from behind and then finish it off. So pull through and then I want you to chain two. One and two and do it again. Loop up, insert in I'm gonna speed up a little bit. I already have one tutorial available for this. It's a double layered. This is just a single layer today. So put your main hook back in to that main loop. Grab this one here and pull up like so. Okay, it pulls everything tight and put that loop over top and pull it from behind and it pulls it nice and tight once again. Pull through and then chain two one and two. So we're gonna do it one more time but we're gonna come back into the very starting one. Now I have been noticing on Facebook people said they have OCD that we're going into two holes twice. Hey, it is what it is. It just it reminds me of somebody standing because there's two into one. Um, it is what it is. It's, it's crafting. Enjoy it. <laughs> okay so we're going to uh, get that final one in and we're going into the very starting one so that there will be two loops coming out of one hole keeps it in balance. That's why we do that. There's other ways of doing it as well but that's the way I do it. 
So we're gonna just pull everything. Oh, so what I did here is that I need to pull this string first that's coming out. This will put tension back onto the hook. Okay, and then put that loop over the hook. And then finish it off. And then chain two, one and two. And then what we're gonna do is just slip stitch to the beginning. So essentially what you've done now is that you've gone around this entire thing. You have strands coming out of, of, the, of the holes and one hole has two coming out. No big deal. So let's begin and the next round is your ending round already. To begin the next round all you're just gonna do is see how these two are grouped together and these two are together. We wanna go into the spaces where th it's in between the groups. So we're just immediately going to just go into a space and we're going to single crochet. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, double, cro uh, double crochet for eight times into that same space. So one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight. Once you have your eight there, then single crochet into that final, into that same area to finish it off. Okay, so then we come back down and we go into the next space in between the next group here. So we single crochet first and then we do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then finish it off with a single crochet. So as you're doing this, these stitches are gonna start balancing out. So we go into the next group for single. So continue that same pattern. So single crochet, one, and then for double crochet for eight, and then single crochet into the same one. And I'll meet you back in just a second. We'll finish this puppy off. Once you get all the way back around, just slip stitch to the very beginning, just like so. Fasten off your yarn, weave in your ends, and voila, you have a button flower just like so. So it's actually really kind of cool, and depending on your tension, you know, it depends on the space in between here, and it's actually really good to go. So until next time, I'm Mikey on behalf of Yarn Inspirations as well as thecrochetcrowd.com. We'll see you next time for more free ideas and designs. We'll see you.